bananas You having the time of your life The Basketeers Podcast, a podcast produced by Ricardo Con Luna and Christopher Diaz, written by me, your host, Isaac Cruz, and hosted by me, your host, Isaac Cruz. And today, we are talking about my first tattoo story. So I'm going to tell the story of when I got my first tattoo, which was yesterday. I got a tribal shark colored tattoo. Um, for the guys on YouTube, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure you can see it. Uh, tribal shark tattoo. Um, for the guys in all podcast platforms, we're on YouTube as the Basketeers TV. So you, so if you want to see the the tattoo, you can go see it there. You can also um see it on my vlogging channel as Isaac Vlogs. So yeah. Uh, painful, painful, painful. Uh, but I will talk about that right now because right now. The Basketeers Podcast will start. We are back on the Basketeers podcast. Uh, my first tattoos, I got a tribal shark tattoo on my ribs. That's the fucking thing about it. Like, my first tattoo on my ribs. Um, I really have the balls just to get my first tattoo on the, one of the most painful spots there is on your skin and when it got to the blue spot you know when it got to the blue spot right there in you know the shark skin um it didn't hurt much you know it didn't hurt much but when they got to the up like to the upright part or or where the tails are now those motherfucker hurts because they were on my skin. Like they were like on my skin, and man, it did hurt a lot, you know. And my tattoo artist, my tattoo artist, um, Clay Stone, um, which I'm sure you're watching, he's watching this. I don't know, but. My tattoo artist Clay Stone, uh, he uh, told me like he's like you know I'm, I'm gonna get you that that shit on the ribs, but I'm telling you right now, that those motherfuckers aren't gonna hurt, you know. Um, are you sure you want it on that spot? Because when we first started talking, like, he's like are you sure you want it on the spot? And I'm like, yeah, I want it on the spot. It's like you can get it on your leg. You can get it um, on your, on your back. Um, you can get it on your forearm, but here's the thing: I don't. I, I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to make my first tattoo visible. You know, I didn't want to have a visible 
tattoo as my first tattoo. You know what I mean? Because of like the job thing and all that stuff. Like I didn't wanna um get my first tattoo visible. You know. So I wanted to make it on a place where it couldn't be seen. So I told I told him that. He's like, okay, so. What about your back? And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't, I didn't feel like making it on my back or neither my leg. So I'm like, no, I want it on the ribs. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I want it on the ribs. Yeah, I'm my first tattoo on the ribs. I'm like, okay, I can get it to you on the ribs, but, mm, you know, I waited over a year to get this, my first tattoo, and, um, I, when the time came, I waited like a, three days more, and because, you know, my parents were like, wanting me to think about it, because like, my first tattoo, like, it was going to be on my ribs, putting aside the fact that it was going to be something that's going to stay on me forever, but, you know, I'm a big fan of tattoos, I love tattoos, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make more through the times, and it's not like it's not like this is gonna be my only one. But um, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm sure. I I, I was pretty excited. I'm like, I, my first tattoos. I'm gonna get my first tattoo. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my first ink experience for my own. And the thing about it is, my whole family, um, like from. You know, from my grandpa to my cousin to uh, my father to, you know, to my other grandparents, you know, they have tattoos. Um, it's like, it's something that's already been in my family. And my family is not against, my family was not against it, you know. My grandpa was not against it, my mom was not against it, you know, because we have nothing against tattoos. We, we, we like tattoos. Um, so, um, even if some members in my family don't have tattoos, because I'm not saying all of members of all, of, of all my family have tattoos, because it, it's not like that, but, um, but, you know, they, they, they like it, and they're not, they're not against it, so I was like, yeah, I want my first tattoo, you know, I, I love tattoos ever since I was little, and I was one of one. I remember when I used to put on this fake uh, toy tattoos on my skin. Like, you know, they have like this small stickers that you put on your skin that it, it's, a, it's a, so fake tattoo. It's not a real tattoo. It's a fake tattoo that you can wash it off. But I, I used to put a lot of those when I was little. You know, because I was, I, I love tattoos. I always wanted one tattoo, you know. I, I wanted more than one tattoo, you know. Like I said, it's not gonna be my, my, my first tattoo. I'm thinking about for my second tattoos. Um, like I wanna make a design of it. Like I wanna I want my tattoo artist to design design it. You know, because the shark tattoo, you know, this one over here, the shark tattoo, um, that was not like design it. It was more of like it was more of like um it was more like I took it out of pictures from Google. Um, I was like tribal shark tattoos, and I found that one that was colored, and I liked the design of it. So I'm like, you know, I want this one. And my tattoo artist just printed out, and he drew it the next day. And then after a few days later, he tattooed it on me. But um, I, for my second tattoo, I want a design one, like. I want to I want to talk to my tattoo artist and like they they come up with a design of my own like I'm thinking about like I love The Simpsons right because I I get tattooed well my shark tattoo is like because I got like emotional thing to it like I love sharks and I'm, I, the the reason why I love sharks not just because they're I consider them the best fucking animal seas on the planet but like I, I love it because you know, you know, the shark goes forward and never goes back and always going for his prey and never give up. And if he stops swimming, he dies, right? So I consider myself the same thing. I consider myself as a shark. You know, I go forward and forward and forward and I don't, I don't give up. And when I feel like I want to pull back or stop 
doing stuff, I don't. Because I know I want to, I know I'm going to fail, and I don't want to fail. So, that's why, you know, I love sharks, and because I got that, like, emotional thing to it, you know. And I just thought maybe, you know, I was like, you know, I want to tattoo it on my skin on a place where I could see it only. Um, because I just, it, it really reminds me of, of myself. You know, the shark really, I always say to, to my friends and, and some people that, that are close to me, like I, I told them I'm, I'm like a shark, you know, because the shark never fucking give up. It's, it's just, it goes forward, it keeps going, and I'm like a freaking shark. Um, and there's actually a motivational speech about it, um, where the guy talks about how their mindset should be <clears throat> like a shark. Because, you know, like I said, if, if a shark swims forward and, and keeps swimming forward, it will live. Because he's swimming forward, catching for his prey. You know, if he catch for his prey, he also will live because it's, it, it's, it's surviving. And, but if it goes back or stop catching spray or stop swimming, then it will die. And and we human beings should have that mindset, you know, don't give up, keep going, no matter what, you know. Um, and I have that mindset, and that's why you know I have that. I love sharks not just because I consider them one of the most badasses, you know, uh, sea animals in the world, but because. I, I think that they, I have that emotional attachment to them. Um, so, um, yeah, and, you know, for my second, moving on to, to my second tattoo, sorry, uh, to my second tattoos, um, I'm thinking about designing like the Simpsons, kind of the Simpsons characters, right? Like in my arms, in small, small sizes, not big sizes, but like right here, with a log and with a logo down here, kind of thing, with the logo of the Simpsons, and then um, have like a character, finish up with a with a few characters that kind of that are kind of like pulling up, like like let's say they are pulling up the 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 whole Simpsons character, the whole Simpsons cast with the logo. So and the same thing in my other arm, you know what I mean. I just designed them. So, for my second tattoo, I thought you know I could talk to my tattoo artist and you know, have him design that for me and have ideas for it. So, but for now, I'm just gonna stick to this one. And after a while, if I have to, when I when I when when the moment comes and I get that one, I will get that one. So, um, that's the thing, you know. Also, the thing is make sure, you know that you're just not sure about you getting your first tattoo. Um, and also make sure you don't get it on a most painful spot. I did it on the one most painful spot because I'm a retard, so... <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you know, get also a tattoo artist that you could trust. You know, that that person knows what you like. You know, because it's really important that you get a tattoo artist that you could trust. You know, because and what I mean by that is because you need them, you know, they, they need to know what you like. They need to know what you want. They need to know your style. They need to know everything about your love and your passion towards your styled tattoos. So I, I believe that uh, that's one of the main keys you should have while getting a tattoo. You know, have a tattoo artist that whenever you want to get a new tattoo, if you want to get a new tattoo, you could go to and say, hey, um, I want this, I want that, and the tattoo artist could design it. And also, he doesn't even have to think about it or complain about it or anything because he already knows he already knows you, and he already knows what you like, what you love, what, what, what's your style of tattoos. If you like it colored, if you like it black and gray, if you like it cartoonist, if you like it old school, if you like it American traditional, if you like it new school, if you like it... You know, that's really important, and I thought that always, always, I thought, you know, before getting my first tattoo, I always 
thought my entire life that having that tattoo artist that you could trust was really important. I was like, I just didn't want a tattoo. I want a tattoo artist that I could trust. They could know my stuff. They could know what I like, what I what I love, my style of tattoo, as I said, whether it's American traditional, whether it's new school, whether it's colored. Me, for example, I love cartoonist and colored tattoos. I'm more into the into that style. So, you know, my tattoo artist, um, Clay Stone, he already knows I love colored tattoos, and probably he's gonna know by my next tattoo that I like cartoonist kind of, you know, colored tattoos. So. He already knows that, so he doesn't have to think about it. And if I come to, to for him to my second tattoo, he's like, "Okay, there you go, my boy Isaac is here. What what you want? Let's figure this out." And he give me the advice. It's just like he did with the shark and stuff, you know. And that's really important to me. That's always been important to me. I always thought that, you know, I always, I always thought, even before getting my 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 first tattoo, I was like. It's really important to me not just to have a tattoo, but to have a tattoo artist, someone that I could trust, someone that I could look at and say, you know, you know, I I I, I trust you because I, I'm giving you my skin, and you're doing something that's gonna be with me forever, and you're gonna do something that I like and that I love that I don't regret because that's important. You need to get a tattoo that you know you won't regret. And you just can't give your skin to everybody, to, to every tattoo artist. You gotta find the one that that's a perfect tattoo and you can give that skin to him because what I'm, it's like what I'm saying, this is gonna be something that's gonna stick with you forever. So you need to find the best tattoo artist there is in town or in the country or in your neighborhood or whatever and get that tattoo done and have him and build that trust, you know what I'm saying? Build that trust. I, I, I always like to, you know, build that trust. And when my tattoo artist, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to build that trust through through this, you know, like, you know, like, I like this and I want to make it simple for you so that you, you don't get to do too much and you don't have to complicate yourself. And I always want to, and I want this and I want that and I want you to, you know, and because he already knows me, like I said, and he really knows what I want and what I like in my style of little tattoos. He he he'll, he'll do it, you know. Easy, um, and won't complain about it and won't say anything about it because, like I said, it's really important to build that trust with your tattoo artist, no matter what. Um, always. That's my advice to every person that wants to, that wants to get a tattoo. To every person that's virgin on skin and haven't ever get tattoo ever ever and wants to get their first tattoo then I, I, I suggest you and I advise you to get a tattoo artist not just that could get you a badass tattoo but also a tattoo artist that you could trust and that you could give your skin to because it's really important because really you don't really like honestly you, you don't want that to get fucked up because it's gonna be in your skin forever it's gonna be in your skin forever and you don't want that to get fucked up. And you want also, you know, like I said, take good care of it, you know. You want that also that tattoo artist that could tell you the right thing about how to take care of it, you know. Like like what happened to me, my tattoo artist told me, you know, the next the first seventy two hours is really important with the ointment, with you know, um washing it. So it doesn't get infected. And you want thin layers on your tattoo. So, um, I've been washing it with um, Dr. Squatch. I have, okay, so I had the box, I wanted to show it, but um, my dog destroyed the box. I got the soap on the, on, on the bathroom, but I'm not going to bring the soap. Um, but I, I unpackaged, I unboxed the, 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 the soap, and I put it on a, on, a, on a bathroom, and I had the box to save it. Here, you know, because I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, it's a natural oiled uh, soap that uses no chemicals, no harsh, man. You know, it cures and protects you from itchy rash and everything. It's just, and it smells really good. It smells really good and it feels really good. You know, your skin feels really soft after using it. So, 
Um, I've been using it um, quite a few days now, and I'm really liking it. I really love it. You know, I think I'm gonna use it pretty often. I gotta, I gotta know where to buy it. Probably be on, it, it'll be on Amazon. Probably be on Amazon. So, Doctor Squash. You know, if you um, also if you got a really sensitive skin, then I suggest it to you. No sponsorship. You know, they're not they're not a sponsor right now. No sponsorship. But I'm just telling. You, I'm just saying, Doctor Squash is. I believe, like, I really like it. I think it's the best soap you could ever use if you're not into chemicals or or you don't want to get any, uh, you want to, you don't want to get harm on your skin or if you don't want to cure itches or rashes or you have a really sensitive skin and or you have tattoos like me and you just don't want your tattoo to get screwed up, then use Dr. Scratch. Dr. Scratch. <laughs> um... Yeah, my tattoo always gave me Doctor Squash. Maybe for that, maybe for that reason, you know, for take care of my, my skin now that I have a tattoo. So, anyways, I went there on Wednesday. I got my tattoo on Wednesday and went there around um, ten and eleven o'clock, right, in p.m. And I was like four hours um, on a chair. I was from eleven. Uh, from I think it was eleven, from eleven to four a.m. in the mo in, in the morning. You know, I was right there in the chair, blah, blah, blah. Um. So I got there, and he asked me, "Are you sure you want it there?" <laughs> For one last time, I, Clay was like, "Are you sure you want it there?" Because I'm telling you right now, that motherfucker is gonna hurt. You know that, that that's not even, you know that's, not even like. Like it was like my dad was joking around with some needles, like trying to, <laughs> and 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 he's like, it's like that's not even that's not even close to what he's going to feel when 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 that needle passes through his ribs with the machine. So, um, I thought I thought you were gonna I was gonna hear the machine going, but it was actually pretty quiet. Uh, and he was you know tattooing me there, and he started uh, with the outlines. Didn't feel much. I, I felt like a little ink, like, you know? Um, but it wasn't much, especially when he, when he was doing the skin of the shark in the inside, on the whole center and stuff. Um, no, but when it did hurt, um, was on my, on my, on my, on my bones, like, because the tails, the upright tails, you know, and, and, and the, the back of it, and, the, you know, the down of it, like, they were on my ribs, right, and, like, they were on my, my, on my, on my bones right there, and that's when it hurt, especially when he started doing the, 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 the last tail of it, you know, like, I think it was this one down here for the guys on YouTube, like, the tail down there, it did hurt when that needle pass it through it like I was like I didn't in jail I didn't uh, I didn't scream or anything um I didn't cry either but like because I took it I took it like a man I was never like I'm here I'm gonna get this done and fuck it and I took it like a man especially he was pretty impressed he was like I'm, I'm pretty fucking impressed you know because you know if it was me I would have been uh, screaming and kicking you know and and, and like because my tattoo artist has a lot of tattoos, and he has tattoos on his ribs, so he knows. And he said that one of the most hurtful ones he ever got was the rib ones, because the rib ones is one of the most painful spots in the skin when it when it comes to tattooing. And I will, I really had the balls, you know. He told me you really have balls, man. Cause not everybody gets their first tattoo there. Not even, not even everybody gets. A lot of tattoos there, you know, because it's a really painful spot. But I took it like a man. I was like, I was like, I was like this, like in back in the chair. I was like, I was like, I was like, for the guys on you know, like holding my chair, like the dreams in which I'm dying. Like you know, like for the guys on our podcast platforms, like I was just like holding my hands back on the chair, and I was like, like, but I like I said, I didn't scream or anything. I was like I didn't scream. I didn't. Um, I didn't kick anything, I didn't cry, but I did feel it, you know, and I was like, 
I was just like, but I started shaking like around two or three a.m. when it was almost finishing. I started shaking. I even, I even needed like a drink of water because I started freaking shaking. I was like, my my legs were like shaking, and I was like, because I couldn't. I was like, I don't, I need him to be done. And one of the worst things ever when I was getting my tattoo, when he was when he was spraying the uh. The alcohol, it's like an alcohol kind of thing. Like, not the alcohol drinking. I'm talking about the one that you use for cleaning, like, for no infections and stuff. You know, don't get confused, you people. You know, it's not, it's not the, not the alcohol from drinking. It's the one that's made for, for, for cleaning of uh, painful spots that's, um, uh, that helps you not to, to cause infections and stuff like that. You know which one I'm talking about. So, um, the one like the hand sanitizer, like the hand sanitizer is like, like pure percent alcohol, like it's like 80 to 90, 100 percent alcohol. So, you know, hand sanitizer is made out of alcohol. So he was like that alcohol, he puts it on the, he sprays it on the, on the napkin and he passes it, like he, he passes all the way, he wipes it off, like he wipes it all the way in my tattoo like in circles you know like like he didn't wipe it off like oh i'm gonna fade this out like i'm talking about wipe it off like he um was like cleaning it because he didn't want me to get an infection so i'm talking about needles going through your skin so i was like holy shit that that that, hurt, that burn like that you can feel that hurt and burn right there. i was like oh, holy, holy. Um, that was the worst part of it. I think that was the, I think that was forcing the needle, you know, just right on it. And I was like, every time he did that, I was like, man, stop. I was like, like, I, in my mind, I was like, oh, I want this to, I want this to end. And the guy, there was a bunch of guys, there was like, that was, there was his wife, you know, um, on the living room sitting there. And. That was uh, a friend of his, um, and the friend of his was like, "Man, he's looking like, man, you better stop." <laughs> and then um, his wife uh, was like, "Man, I hate when he when he does that because every time he he's been my tattooer and he does that, I would have been screaming <laughs> because you know he tattooed his wife before too. So like his wife got a Mickey Mouse tattoo." In her, in her whole back, and she was uh, explaining me and, and 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 the tattoo things and she has tattoos too and looks pretty nice. The Mickey Mouse, you know, the outlines and everything. But um, man, I mean, <laughs> I just I, and then after it was done, I was like, ah, oh. and then he was like. You made it. You made it. I'm proud of you, man. I, I'm proud of you. I'm really impressed. You made it. You know, I was like, oh, God, I made it. And they wrapped me up with the tattoo, and I went home, and he told me to get some sleep. I get some sleep. My dad wake up, it's like around 6 a.m. He wash it off, because he got to wash it off quick after it. You know, he wash it off, um, and, you know, and cleaned it and everything. Cleaned it again, and then I just... Use the oil, man, that he gave me. I went to him. I actually, after this podcast, I gotta go to him because I gotta get my last uh, clean out of this. So, um, I, I went to him and I get clean out and, you know, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my last clean out and, and use uh, baby powder so I don't, I don't get, because I'm gonna get like a small rash. I pro- I pro- he told me you probably get like itchy, so you gotta use. Baby powder, so you, baby powder, so you go, ah, you know, so, um, and I gotta get, I, I gotta wait a few days more into the hills, which is doing pretty good, by the way, I mean, I've, I've been cleaning it, I've been doing it, I've been using oil, man, and he even told me, like, good job, it's looking pretty good, uh, so, uh, after a few days, it will heal, and then I will be able to, to go to the pools, and beach and everything, you know, because I can't go to the, I can use, I can be on a pool water and I cannot be on beach water because that's salt, the pool water has chemicals 
and it will fade out the color it will just color and probably fade out my tattoo and it will harm my skin especially on the beach one because the water has salt so it will probably um harm my tat my, my, my tattoo it will fade it out it will just color it and it won't it, it will not just harm it but it will also you know destroy my you know harm my skin so after it heals then i will be able to use full water and i'll be on a pool and then and be on the beach so and it can it cannot be exposed to the sun either so um but i don't worry about that because like i said it's not visible it's on my ribs so i can literally just put a shirt on and, and it won't be able to get the sun or of a sweater and it won't be able to so, yeah, and the and the video, the whole videos of my first tattoos, it, my first tattoo is on my vlogging channel, Isaac Vlogs, so you can go there and watch it, Isaac Vlogs, I'll capitalize Isaac Vlogs, my first tattoo um, is right there, um, you can go watch it, it's now available, um, so yeah, that was my first tattoo, that was my first tattoo, and yeah, that was my suggestion to all of you. If you want to get your tattoo, uh, make sure you find an artist that you could trust. Uh, that 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 he could know what you what you like, what your you know tattoo style is. Like that's pretty important to. It's pretty important to your tattoo artist knows what you like, and knows what what what, what your style is. You know. Because if you have a tattoo artist that doesn't even know what you like, or doesn't even know what your style is, what you want on your skin, man, then you need to get somebody else because you have problems. So, um, it's pretty important you um, get that tattoo artist that you could trust, um, and that you could, and that he knows what you like. And uh, he knows what your style is. Just trust his work, and have him trust to you, um, because it's pretty important to build that professional trust in each other. You know, because it 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 is indeed because you know it's something that goes on your skin forever, and you don't want to get that fucked up. You know that tattoos, tattoos and hair, it's it's, it's something you don't want to fucked up with. Like there's a there's like, there's people that you don't want to fuck, you fuck up with. Like, there's people that you don't want to mess up with. Your tattoo artist, your barber, and of course, um, your boss, or your, or, or, or your housekeeper. You know, the housekeeper cleans your house. You know, the boss got your job. Your tattoo artist tattoos permanently on your skin, and your barber, you know, works for your hair. So, but the most important ones that you don't want to mess with is your tattoo artist, your boss, and your barber. <laughs> so you make sure you don't mess with them. Make sure you build that. It's really important that you build that trust with those people. You know what I mean? Because really, you don't want to get neither your hair, and most importantly, and top of number one, your skin. I mean. Come on, you don't really want to have a fucked up tattoo for the rest of your life. That's just, that's just you know, make sure you get a tattoo artist that that is the best, like the best one in town, the best one in your neighborhood. Make sure you you um have that because you need when it comes to tattoos, man. It, it's gotta be perfect, man. It's gotta be perfect. I'm sorry, but when it comes to tattoos, it's gotta be perfect, you know. And your tattoo artist. It's 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 his obligation to know what you like, what your style is, because like I said, it's something that goes on your skin and you need to make sure that you need to tattoo something that you're never gonna regret in your life and that you like. You know what I mean? Because the most fucked up thing in the world is not just having a fucked up tattoo. It's having a tattoo that you look at and you're like, Oh, why why did I get this? And trust me, there's a lot of people that you look at it and I'm like, oh, why did I get this? 
So yeah, make sure you get that. As you can see, before I finish up, I got a new share. Woo! <laughs> I got a new share. I got the share that I wanted. Now I feel more comfortable, and I can get the job done more comfortably. So this is going to be the Prosecutor's Podcast, a podcast produced by Ricardo Galuna um, and Christopher Diaz, written by me, your host, Isaac Cruz, and hosted by me, your host, Isaac Cruz. The Basketeers TV on YouTube, all capitalized. The Basketeers TV on YouTube, the Basketeers TV, and the Basketeers Podcast. All rights are reserved 2021. And ladies and gentlemen, we have done. Basically, we have done. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. A hurricane's coming, so I don't know if. I heard that a hurricane is coming tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be able to do the podcast tomorrow. If not, then I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll know if it's coming or not. See ya. Watch this short video to get 30 minutes. Fucking commercials. When is that? Yeah, what's with the commercials coming up? <laughs> Because <laughs> we have the song in Spotify, by the way. You know, use Spotify to play the song. And the commercials come on, and I can do anything about them. Alright, 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 alright. All right. We're done now. We'll see ya. What the fuck? <laughs> I really apologize about that. I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about that stuff, man. I, I, I really. I just do the outro and just did. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut off. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm really gonna cut off. We're gonna do it. And there we go, another one. Oh my fucking! Oh, Commercials. I'm not playing. Look. I can't do anything about this. I'm waiting. I'm gonna we're gonna have to get SoundCloud and uh, we'll just 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 play this the outro song there because it's just I don't know. There you go. Hold on, I'll play. You took my heart for See ya. You took my heart, fuck that shit girl, I don't need it.